We are going now to a new study that shows myopia or nearsightedness is up a whopping 66% since the 1970s. Could our growing dependence on computers, cell phones, and video games be to blame? Senior health and medical editor Dr. Richard Besser takes a closer look. When it comes to Americans and our vision, the numbers don't look good. A new study conducted by the National Eye Institute shows the rate of nearsightedness or myopia in America has increased from 25 percent in the 1970s to a staggering 41 percent this decade. It was really good to be able to confirm that it, this was really going on. Although myopia is pretty easily treated, when 40 or 50 million people have myopia, it ends up actually costing the U.S. about two to three billion dollars annually. So it's a really important problem if it's on the increase. This current study didn't examine possible causes, but experts say factors include genetics or perhaps a lack of outdoor light. Another possible reason? An increase in near work, such as reading, surfing the web, and especially texting. Nearsighted work can really affect the development of young eyes if that's exclusively the kind of work that you're doing. It's equally important to be outside playing, stimulating, your far vision. While more research is still needed, this study is helping shed light on the importance of regular eye exams. The one thing I would like people to do is to make sure that they get recommended eye exams with an eye care provider to make sure that they don't have problems with their eyes and to receive treatment if they need it. And Dr. Richard Besser joins us again uh, this morning. Good to see you. And you say that this study does not uh, look at, did not look at the causes of this, right. of this nearsightedness, but there's something in the paper this morning that's kind of astonishing. Shows that in the last year there were 110 billion text messages, Incredible. double the year before that. So we see these trends happening at the same time. What do you think of this theory that there's a connection? Well, I mean, the first thing, George, this is a really well done study. And so I believe that the increase in nearsightedness is, is real. Um, the other good news is that the National Eye Institute is putting $10 million into addressing what are the causes of this. You know, there are things we know about causes for nearsightedness, genetics. Uh, if your parents were nearsighted, there's a good chance that you're gonna develop nearsightedness. But these theories in terms of near work are really intriguing and need to be investigated because our lifestyle is, is all evolving now around these kind of near activities. And there's no question these things will be investigated now because uh, there's a lot of money in risk. That, that, that's right. You know, but, but I think you have to be careful about what is causal and what could be just an association. Um, I was very nearsighted as a child. Maybe that's why I spent more time inside reading and doing indoor activities. And maybe it wasn't that I was, uh, my nearsight was, was caused by that, but, but the fact that you tend to go to those things that, that play to your strengths. So bottom line, what should parents take away from this study? Well, I think there, there are two things. One is get regular eye exams. But another is there are so many reasons why children should be outside playing in terms of obesity and, and their lifestyle. If this is another reason that it protects their eyes, get your kids outside, get them playing. <laughs> turn off the TV, turn off the computer, get outside. That's Great right. advice. Richard Besser, thanks very much. You can get more on how to keep your kids' eyes healthy at our website at abcnews.com slash GMA.